Hello, my dear friends of electronics. In this video, I want to show you the influence of the temperature for the saturation current. Like you can see in this graph, the initial permeability at room temperature, you may have a value like 450, and when you operate your device in the low temperature range, this initial permeability, it will drop. In a high temperature, it will increase a lot, and this is the influence that you will see in the next graph, where I did measure the value of the inductance versus current. So you can see the saturation point at ambient temperature will be somewhere by 400, 450 milliamp. And now if you go to low temperature, your inductance value will be lower because of the drop of the permeability and the saturation point will be much higher. Now if you go in the higher temperature range, you will see that the inductance value will increase because of course the initial permeability is higher and the saturation point, it will be much, much sooner. So at 300 milliamp, you may have in room temperature or in minus degree, no saturation at all. At a higher temperature area, you may have a very, very soon saturation. This is very important to consider for all sintered material like nickel zinc and manganese zinc material. In comparison with the sintered material, the alloy like MAPI or LHMI inductance, which are not using a non sintered material, they are using an alloy, you may have a no influence at the temperature for the saturation at all. I hope you enjoyed this video and you will watch my other videos about the saturation point and also about the rated current measuring and how it is defining. And see you next time. Bye bye.